previously on. I just forgot my hard drive and all the editing video stuff. Uh, just over there. It, uh, it just been in the area where everyone lives in these people. Espanol. So. Coming up. It's a worry Hello. It looks like your truck's a bit better than mine. Oh, yeah. Bonjour. I was troubled full of pain. Always try to play the game. Oh, la, 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 la. and one day I finally understood what is brotherhood. And one day I finally understood how to love. Oh, oh. Okay, just found a hotel and we have joined people. I'm so happy. Oh my gosh. Do you know what? I'm so happy. <laughs> Hopefully these guys are good. Um, and we stick with them and see what happens. And drive with them to Marrakesh. Okay, let's go find our room. Well, my room. <laughs> Exactly. Wi-Fi. Um, yeah, I have it. Do you need it? Yeah, but it's okay. Okay. <laughs> I'll come out anyways. Now that I'm in the hotel room, which was only about 19 euros, um, just for one person though, I can finally rest. But obviously you guys probably want to know what this room looks like not you can skip the video obviously but for now let me just show you and then i'm gonna crash in and go to sleep no i have to edit never mind <laughs> First full day in Morocco, we headed down south towards Marrakesh while our newly acquainted friends made their way elsewhere for now. This stage was where you could go via the Atlas Mountains or easier routes if you were in the touring or spirit category rather than the racing group. Because we didn't start in Budapest like many others, we only began to see participants on our way to the first camping ground. It looks like your truck's a bit better than mine. Stopped over for some McDonald's. Mm, mm, Moroccan mm. McDonald's. <laughs> this wrap is looking smaller. It actually looks smaller, Zach. Oh my word. Okay, that let's see what smaller. this is. Maybe they control people's weight here. Unlike other countries, not bro, naming them. The buns are a little bit bigger. The a lot more tastier though. So this has changed a bit as well. Oh, I don't know though. So you're still, it's still lower middle middle income middle income groups. And actually, here they serve the food. They bring it to you. Mm. So I was like, oh okay. Hmm, this is much more. This is actually nice. The chicken tastes so good the crispy side Ooh. 
Woohoo! Time to continue our route to Marrakesh. Such a lovely day! Woohoo! After arriving at the first camping ground, it was time to pitch our tents and get some well-deserved rest. <laughs> That's what I thought would happen, but I soon realized this was not the case, and you'll see later on. Many drivers and riders would pitch up at random hours of the night. But as excited as I was, this was the least of my worries. Oh my gosh, it's so cold! And it's like, what, 11 o'clock right now? I'm going to bed. <laughs> Can't wait to see this um, this place in the daytime. It should be really beautiful. I'm camping under this cat. Guess how exciting that is. Oh my gosh. Who gets to do this? Like, okay, let's not show up. Good night, everyone. See you tomorrow. Morning everyone. Everyone is basically coming to the camp right now, so it's getting a bit more busy. <sighs> I can sleep a lot because it will feel freezing. So I'm gonna have to think of a strategy. While Zach used part of the day to visit the main part of Marrakesh, I decided to use this time to relax and journal my previous travels all while admiring my surroundings. <clears throat> the campsite is full of different plants, chickens running around, vendors, camping vans, swimming pools, you name it, all right on the edge of town. I even dived right in to a local dish in Morocco known as tagine, although I don't think this place did it justice. This should be, there's lots of different ways to do tagines. The ones I had were smaller vegetables, a bit more oil, paprika, uh, various other things in there. for the most in the middle of nowhere and at times in small towns like this one called Tagont in the province of Gjermi. Yeah.
just stopped off in the middle of nowhere as you do as you explore alone without the other guys <laughs> don't worry we're gonna catch up never mind look where we are middle of nowhere exactly oh. that's because we were one of the last ones to leave the campsite but also by choice we're relying on our own minds our own navigation just no, no sat now. oh we got we've got gps <laughs> we've got no mobile phones we've got no uh, satellite phone no cb radios if anything happens to us basically gets eaten first what? that is for That's sure not... wow she looks like a big sheep <laughs> oh yeah because i'm dressed in white okay <laughs> <laughs> They say life is oh, yeah. about living on the edge, but would you risk it for a chocolate biscuit? <laughs> okay, on a serious note, this was one of many roads with a compass on the rally, sometimes by choice. So I would say if you decide to participate in any rally, take caution and be aware that there's a few challenges on the road to cross. Stopped over again. province of Helmim, we pass through this beautiful town called Fa, right. also known as the gateway this to the really desert. <laughs> Zach was right. This was just one of the most amazing experiences to pass through and see the buildings and the palm trees that made me forget literally in the next few minutes we'd be in the middle of nowhere again. Decided to skip a stage, not naming who chose that. Definitely weren't me. But it was okay, like got to see parts of Morocco that maybe not a lot of people in the rally have seen or will see. Just in the hotel. And yeah, I'm just dressed as how I was today. Cause I just feel not on edge, but just <laughs> yeah some of you can understand right and relate but this is this is what you get from traveling we did drive all the way to where the next destination is and obviously there was nobody because it's proper camping <laughs> i was not having it oh my gosh you'll see um during the daytime what it's what it looks like just you know when they say safety in numbers yeah that's probably a reason why so yeah, that's what you get when you travel, hey? 
all these little risks and um living life on the edge kind of things it is kind of exciting at times but um you know times like it really gets your brain moving a lot so it ties you out hopefully i'll be able to sleep as i'm gonna call it at night very soon hopefully and um yeah wake up and see what the town is like in the morning by the way we got stopped by a checkpoint and the guy wanted to know where the camp is oh my gosh now i realize why it doesn't even have a name because it's in the middle of nowhere yeah so that's it that's it for me good night everyone have a good sleep and see you in the morning It looks so beautiful during the daytime. Now I know what I'm surrounded by. Just mountains, hills. Yeah. Funny enough, it's so quiet. Yesterday in the night, oh my gosh, the street was so busy. So I wonder if that's if that's what happens here in Morocco. <laughs> but it looks so nice. But now guys, I cannot wait to get ready to meet the others, the others in the team and see how they doing and how their last camp was so let me get ready for the day and yeah hopefully it's a good one Asa Zag was one of the last settlements before the desert or also known as the Western Sahara hence the checkpoint Okay, so the plus side was at least we saw the town at night, so we knew our basic surroundings and where to yeah. get some food and drink supplies. This is where we turned up last night and I was like, nah. But in actuality, this is actually one of the official camping grounds for the rally. The only problem is there was no one else but us. Welcome to my crib. So we're gonna start with the outside. We've got the Zoom flag over here, wrapping. Okay, I forgot to tell you that this item broke somewhere at Camp One, but we make it work. And on the outside as well, we've got literally all of this Mother Nature plus a car and a few other cars. We're trekking up this. Here I am. Let's go. Whoop. Ha ha ha!